Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the gravitational force exerted by the planet Earth on a unit mass at a distance r from the center of the planet is f of r is equal to g m r over r cubed if little r is less than big R, and g m over r squared if little r is greater than or equal to big R. And what we're asked is, is f a continuous function of r? And so what we have here is two uh, rational functions. And we know from theorem seven that rational functions are continuous over their domains, except at the endpoints. And therefore we can say that we have gmr over r cubed is continuous and gm over r squared is continuous and these functions are continuous at all points except for the point where they intersect right where little r equals big r and therefore we can say that if we want to say that it is continuous that is for all values of r it is continuous, all we have to check is the point at which r is equal to r. And we say, okay, we want the limit as r approaches r of the function gmr over r cubed, So this is for values of little r that are less than big R. So this is going to be approaching big R from the left. And this is going to be equal to simply plugging in big R. So we have big G M R over R cubed, R and R cubed cancel to give you G M over big R squared. And if we want the limit as R approaches R from the right, that's going to be taking on G M over little r squared, right? because that is four values of little r that are um, greater than or equal to big R. And what we have to do here is simply, again, plug in big R for little r to get gm over r squared. And we can see that the limit from the left and the right both equal gm over r squared. So therefore, this is equal to the limit as r approaches r of this function f of r. And now we have to test f of big R. If um, we are actually at the value of big R. This equal sign means that we have to use gm over r squared. So gm over plugging in big R squared. And we can see that this is equal to the limit as R approaches R of f of R. And therefore, the function is continuous at R. And since that is the last point that we had to check in the um, set of all real numbers, right? Because if we are less than big R, this function is continuous. If we're greater than big R, this function is continuous. If we're at R, we just prove that it's continuous. We can see that yes, F is a continuous function of R. 